Ladies and gentlemen, at the outset, I would like to congratulate Gideon Falta and all the other organizers of today's event. Yesterday in synagogue, we read the portion of Shoftim. It's the biblical guide to justice. And the key phrase at the beginning of that passage is Zedek, Zedek, Tirdov. Justice, justice, you shall pursue. And today, in that very spirit, we stand here outside the royal courts of justice demanding zero tolerance of anti Semitism. And we want all perpetrators of hate crime to be brought to justice. A week ago, I was in Israel. It gave me an opportunity to express my full solidarity with Israel and my deep pride in the significant achievements of the Jewish state. While I was there, I stood at the graves of the three teenagers who were abducted and who were so cruelly murdered at the beginning of the month of June. Little did we realize then the turmoil and anguish and suffering and pain that would follow in the Middle East, little did we realize then that anti-Semitism would reach high levels around the world and here in the UK as well. Today is a special day for me. It's the last day of my first year in office. Tomorrow, the 1st of September, will be the anniversary of that special occasion when I was inducted into office in the presence of His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, political leaders from across the political spectrum, faith leaders, and significant national leaders. That was an historic occasion, not so much because of me personally, but rather because of the deep esteem in which the Jewish community of this country is held and recognition of the significant impact that we make on our society. But I would never have believed exactly a year ago that I would be standing here on the streets of London expressing our deep concern about the rise of anti-Semitism in the UK. And I have two clear messages for you. The first is, we are right to be concerned. We see it, we hear it, we feel it, it is there. And reports indicate that there are close to five times more anti-Semitic incidents being carried out at this time than that which we usually see at this time of the year. And we know from our history that anti-Semitic feeling and sentiment can so readily be translated into tragic consequences not only for Jewish people but for all of society. Today, we call also for an end to Islamophobia, to an end for all persecution of minorities. And my second clear message to you is, we are amongst friends. The fight against anti-Semitism traditionally in this country has not been led exclusively by our community. Rather, it has been led by the government with the assistance of our police force, with the full support of significant faith leaders and national leaders across the spectrum. That is because a threat to Jews is rightly considered as a threat to our society. During the past month, I have received so many calls, emails, and letters from national leaders and ordinary men and women in the street. I would now like to read to you just a very brief extract, a few sentences from one such email that I received. I hope British Jews do not think the actions and words of a clear minority reflect the views of the mass of British non-Jews in the light of the present Gaza situation. Most of us delight in the Jewish intellectual, cultural and spiritual gifts which grace us all. Rest absolutely assured that the vast majority of your fellow citizens would fight tooth and nail for the Jewish community in this country. 
Do not yield to those who have no proper interest in our democracy or in any democracy, but who happen to have the loudest voices. Please know that your neighbors are your friends. Indeed, we are blessed to have many friends. And yes, today we stand here because we are deeply concerned, but also we do so in the confidence that in this country we have the forces of good on our side and by our side. And traditionally here in Britain, the way in which the nation has dealt with persecution has been through a combination of respect, education, tolerance, understanding, love and dialogue. And we call for the British people to continue in that very vein, now in the wake of an increase in anti-Semitism. And therefore, ladies and gentlemen, our call today is loud and clear. First of all, we call for zero tolerance of anti-Semitism. We do not want ever again to see a placard being held high here in the streets of our great capital city with the words, Hitler was right on it. We want all perpetrators of hate crime to be brought to justice. And here we stand, proudly as Jews, to declare Am Yisrael Chai. The Jewish people has lived, we do live, we will continue to live in this country in strength and with deep pride. And we pray, may he who has brought peace in high places bring peace for all of us and the Jewish people. Amen.